You may have heard people talking about coronavirus or COVID-19, and you might be wondering, what on earth is it? So viruses are really tiny particles. They're so tiny we can't see them, so they're invisible to us. But viruses can actually make us sick. So a virus is basically, if you looked at it under a microscope, it looks like a ball with these dangly bits on there. And each of these dangly bits are designed to attach to different parts of our body, depending on which virus it is. You may have heard that some people took a day or a week off school because they had something called the common cold. Now the common cold can be caused by a type of coronavirus and its dangly bits attach to cells in your nose, like this, and they give you a stuffy nose and they make you feel really, really sick. Usually you can rest for a while and then feel better. The coronavirus or COVID-19 that people are talking about, it has dangly bits that stick to our lungs and our lungs help us breathe. And so people who get this type of coronavirus, they have a shortness of breath and they struggle to breathe as well as feeling very, very ill. So what happens if you get coronavirus? Well, interestingly, it seems that young people and children, they have a natural immune system that seems to be able to fight the virus and they don't get very sick. So far, nobody with coronavirus who is under the age of 15 has actually had very severe symptoms. Although sadly, grandparents and older people, they can get very sick with this virus and they're not able to fight it very well, which is why we need to be on a mission to stop the coronavirus from spreading. The good news is that viruses don't have legs, so they can't walk to us, and they don't have wings, so they can't fly to us. This means to get to our lungs, they're gonna need our help. So our mission is to stop helping the coronavirus and stop it from spreading. So let's imagine we have some coronavirus on this drinks bottle. Now, we probably don't, but what I've put is a little bit of pretend virus on there that's gonna glow in the dark. To see this, we're gonna need to turn out the lights. You should be able to see with the UV light that actually this pretend virus is growing here. Now, you won't be able to see this normally in normal light, but let's say I go and grab the drinks bottle. My hand is currently clean. If I do it, the virus is gonna transfer to my hand. And now you can see that the virus is stuck on my fingers. All right, I'm just gonna turn the lights back on. But even if the virus is stuck to your hands, you don't have to panic. It can't go anywhere from here. It can't get into your skin. All it wants to do though is get into your lungs. So this is why we always tell you to wash your hands often, especially before you eat anything, such as your lunch. The reason being is the way that the virus is gonna get from your hand to your lungs is if you touch your mouth, your nose, or your eyes. So rubbing your eyes if they're itchy, picking your nose for snot balls, or putting your hands in your mouth without actually washing them. This is how the virus gets into us and this is how we get infected. So washing your hands is really important to stop the spread of this little guy, our coronavirus. The other way a virus can get to you is if somebody who has the virus sneezes on you. Ugh. What happens is their snot carries the virus into your face, which is disgusting. So don't let people sneeze around you, it's gross. You might see people wearing masks right now and that's designed if you're sneezing to keep the snot inside the mask and not over everybody. If you are gonna sneeze and you don't have something to cover your face, do this. Sneeze into your elbow, Achoo! Don't sneeze into your hands, Achoo! cause then when anything you touch is gonna be covered in horrible viruses and all sorts of nasty, so we don't want that. So there you go, that's what coronavirus is and that's how we can stop the spread of this guy by keeping our hands nice and clean to keep everybody safe.